Hi everyone, happy Friday. Happy last Friday in January. That is something I'm feeling extra excited about today. We're getting that much closer to the return of the light and uh, anticipation of the spring. So like I mentioned, I'm excited, almost as excited as what we are going to talk about uh, today and actually over the next few weeks. So we are finally starting our deep dive into our brand new skincare collection. So some of you may recall that back in the fall of 2021, we launched a brand new skincare collection. It's actually four skincare collections, and these are products that are formulated for different skin types and different skincare goals. To this point, we haven't yet had the opportunity to really lean into the products, the formulations, how you can include them in your daily routines. So that's what we're going to start uh, with today. And then, like I said, this is going to extend over the next few weeks of our sessions. So Without further ado, my name is Kristen. I am the National Educator here at SAGE. I am also a self-professed skincare nerd. So both personally and professionally, I'm a really passionate member of the skincare community. Skincare is not only a hobby for me, it's something I feel really passionately about uh, sharing with people in terms of how they can take care of that specific part of their wellness. And that's what we're going to do with these sessions diving into our products. So what we're going to do today is we're looking at two of our skincare lines. So we're going to look at a collection for normal and combination skin. We're also going to look at a collection for sensitive skin. And then we have just one extra product I'm going to talk about at the end. So I'm going to start today with the skincare line called Glow On. And Glow On is the line that we created for normal or combination skin. So when I think about this specific skin type, I think about people who may not be looking to treat any sort of specific condition or affliction. They're just really looking to lean into fresh, healthy, clean skin. Because of that combination piece, there's something to that. There's a little bit of something there because combination tends to refer to skin that is both dry and oily. A lot of times people do experience the oil in what's referred to as the T-zone. So that's sort of your forehead, the nose and the chin. So we're going to talk about that in a couple of the different ingredients in the way that that sort of um, looks. So I'm going to start with uh, just describing that each one of the lines has three products. So what we've created here is really what we consider a foundational skincare system. So for those of you out there who are all about the 10 step beauty routines, there are so many other products you can add uh, to your collection to sort of support the different goals and your wants and needs. But really when it comes down to brass tacks, we have to create a strong foundational skincare routine. For me, that really starts with cleansing you're thinking about hydration and treatment and then of course the all-important ingredient for any skincare type it's really about SPF so I'm just sort of uh, sharing that as a public service announcement today to really consider a good high quality SPF product as part of your routine so let's get started with product number one we are talking about our glow on oil cleanser so there's a couple of things I love about this product number one it's the first time that we have done an oil cleanser here at sage so this is a new to us sort of formulation it may be new to a lot of you I think oil cleansing has really grown in popularity in the last couple of years and there's a lot of good reasons for that so I want to suggest that this cleanser can be used in a couple of ways number one you can use it as a primary cleanser so if you're a person who's just looking like I said to really cleanse hydrate protect the skin through that first step in cleansing it's a great formulation for myself personally where I have fallen in love with the product is as step one of a double cleanse routine so a double cleanse routine it really is as simple as it sounds it means that you're cleaning the skin twice the reason that this has gained so much traction in recent years is there's a lot of evidence to show that if you're a person who is using SPF, which we are all going to be after today's session, or if you're using a lot of makeup, and that can include heavy makeup, so think about more, I think, foundations and facial makeup, it can actually need a little bit more cleansing to remove those products fully from the skin. That's where an oil cleanser comes in. It's a little bit about fighting oil with oil. So when you think about 
some of those products, like I mentioned, SPF, makeup, a lot of those product formulations have oil in them. And so oil actually helps to remove that. So it's going to break down some of the oil in those products, which then allows you to move in with your second cleanse. It's often recommended to consider another format. So something like a gel or a cream to sort of offset uh, that initial oil. So this product's fantastic in supporting you in either of those ways, whether you want it as your primary cleanser or like I said, a first step in a double cleanse. I want to tell you about the scent of this product line overall. It's one of my favorite things about the Glow Online. It's really driven by one of the key ingredients, which is parsley seed. So parsley seed is really a red thread through this line. You're going to see it show up in all three products. This is a, an ingredient that's really high in antioxidant. It has a high vitamin C content, which is really unparalleled as the antioxidant that you want for your skin. When you think about brightening, when you think about radiance, you think about evening the tone. And what the parsley seeds providing in terms of aroma is something fresh, it's green, it's herbal. So when I smell this product, I really do think, like I said, of that that sort of green note that you would think about from a parsley uh, ingredient. A couple other ingredients I want to talk about really important in this formulation. The first is a plant-based squalene. So this is an ingredient that again is having a moment in the sun. You're seeing this all over the skincare industry. There's a really, really good reason for that. So squalene, just a little bit different of a spelling in this product, it's something that occurs naturally in our bodies. So one of the main uh, facets of this product in the body, just a simple way to understand what it does is it helps protect the skin. So think about your skin's barrier, think about in the human body, it's actually even helping us in terms of exposure to sun. But when you think about it as a product that comes from nature, what we have seen a lot of times over the years in skincare was this was an ingredient that was actually derived from shark livers. And my friends, I'm here to tell you that in 2022, we do not have a need for uh, skincare ingredients that come to us from our animal friends. So I'm going to suggest that you think about a plant-based squalene in your products. What we have included in our formulation is an incredible version that's been fermented from cane sugar. So when you want to think about the benefits, what this ingredient does, it's a fantastic hydrator. What it also does is helps balance oil production. So when again, when you're leaning back into that combination piece, if you're someone who has both dry and oily sort of parts of the face, squalene is such an excellent ingredient in helping to balance. And it just really closely mirrors our skin's natural sebum productions. It just sort of keeps everything in harmony and, and nice and balanced. And then it's going to give this beautiful slip and this feeling when you're applying the product to the skin that's just remarkable. Let's talk a bit about how to use it because like I said oil cleanser might be new for some of you. So this is something I think that throws a lot of people off. You actually use this cleanser on dry skin. So even like I said if you have a face full of makeup, if you're covered in your SPF product, you're going to start with the product dry. What happens is it's almost a little bit like an oil to a milk. It changes from an oil formula when it's on the skin dry to something a little creamier, a little milkier once you introduce water. So what you do is just add the product to the hands, a little bit of emulsifying, applying over the face and it's safe for use on the eyes as well. So for removing all of your eye makeup. And then once you've had a nice amount of movement to sort of lather through the skin, you can introduce a bit of water. Again, I just do it from the fingertips and then you see the formula actually change to, like I said, more of that milky white color. And at that point, you can just sort of continue to emulsify and move. If you're going to use as your primary cleanse, just do a really good rinse with water and then like I said if you're using in a double cleanse routine again just a nice thorough rinse and then introducing your second product so that's just some of the ways that I find this product most effective a couple of the things I'm loving so like I said when removing makeup I'm not too big of a makeup gal but I do wear mascara and so in terms of removing mascara for me it's always important that a product isn't going to give some of that eye fog or blurriness and that's just sometimes if a product is heavier it's a little little bit thick in its formulation. So I love this has a really nice clean rinse and my skin just feels balanced afterwards, which is my favorite. So I was saying earlier, my product is down to like this much because I've been using um, this, like I said, very regularly, loving it as part of my routine.
So then the second product in all of four of the lines, this is a moisturizer. So we've got it here, Glow On Moisturizer, get that set up for you. A couple of things I want to talk about, I'm actually going to start with the packaging. So I'm going to remove this lid to show you. You're looking at a pump, so that's how you're going to disperse your product. What's fantastic about this uh, product um, packaging here is that this is what's referred to as an airless pump or an airdrop bottom. What that means is that each time you depress your pump, your product's actually moving slowly up your bottle. That serves a couple of purposes that are awesome in skincare preservation. So number one, it's going to reduce oxidation. It reduces the likelihood that oxygen can enter into the product. Think about, for example, if you have like an open tub and you're sort of dipping your fingers in there's a lot more opportunity to uh, introduce bacteria and other things to the formulation so having an air just an airdrop bottom or an airless pump like this really helps reduce that likelihood the other piece is that you really get your bang for your buck so it means that you're going to pump 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 all the way to the end of the product and once you're at that place where you're just sort of pumping and nothing else is coming out you know there's no product left so you really get to use it all the way uh, from the bottom to the top a couple ingredients I want to talk about uh, in the formulation. The first is raspberry seed oil, and this is an ingredient that you'll see throughout the Glow On line. This is such a beautiful preservative, and it's more even sort of preservative for the skin. It's balancing, it's protective of the barrier. You're going to hear me talk a lot today and over the next coming uh, couple of weeks about the barrier. Really, it's all about protecting your skin's barrier, and your skin's barrier is exactly what you think it is. It's the outer layers of your skin and it's ensuring that you're not doing things like using too hot of water that can be stripping or irritating or over exfoliating and causing irritation so being in protection of your skin's barrier is fantastic. Raspberry seed oil helps protect against environmental stressors. So think about airborne pollutants, think about the sun, the wind, like anything that sort of comes to us through our environment. Something else really cool that I celebrate about raspberry seed oil is we've actually created this ingredient from upcycled seeds. So these are the seeds that would actually be discarded in food production and that's where you're able to press those seeds to create a beautiful raspberry seed oil. Oil. The second ingredient I want to talk about, and you'll see this again as a red thread through the skincare collection, and that's an ingredient called oat kernel extract, so in the moisturizer here. So oat kernel extract, this is a non-gluten, non-soy form of ceramides. Ceramides, again, are in support of the barrier. So they're really deeply hydrating, they're nice and balancing, but they're very neutral. So while they absorb nice and easily and they really provide deep hydration, they're not going to cause any irritation or any sort of like um, surface heaviness or greasiness. They just sit nicely into the skin and then again help uh, in protection and support of your barrier. So this is a moisturizer designed to be used both morning and night. Also has that beautiful parsley seed like I mentioned for that fresh and that uh, green aroma. And then the third product in the line, and again you will see this product show up in three out of four of our skincare lines, is a face oil. So that there, I'm going to get it up close and personal for you my friends this is our glow on face oil so I love even just talking about the packaging it's a beautiful frosted glass it has this really nice uh, glass dropper I'm going to show that to you up close and personal which allows for you to disperse uh, just as much product as you need and when you in uh, are including a face oil in skincare you have to think about less is more so a lot of times we've just been inclined to really oversaturate and put so much product on the face but the truth is it's unnecessary it's wasteful in terms of like going through your product too quickly and sometimes honestly it's gonna have a reverse effect from what you want if you're using too much face oil it's not going to absorb it's gonna sit on the surface of your skin that's gonna cause heaviness greasiness that's not what we're looking for so we're going to uh, talk today about using just three or four drops at a time sometimes people even like to go lower more into that two to three drop range which is why that glass dropper is perfect for giving you just as much product as you need. So a face oil, really what it does again, it's barrier protectant, my friends. It's the idea that we're going to lock in moisture, we're gonna seal in all of the products that have come before. 
So if we're thinking about cleansing the skin, we've then added back hydration with a really nice nutrient rich moisturizer. You're going to apply that face oil as the final step in your skincare routine to really lock in all the moisture that we've placed. And then to also, like I said, form a bit of a barrier, almost like a sealant protectant that prevents water from getting out and is also going to prevent anything else is sort of that we don't want to get into the skin in terms of those environmental stressors that we talked about. So in the glow on face oil, again, you see that parsley seed, you see the squalane show up. A couple of essential oils I want to call out in the formula. One of them is called Elemi. Elemi has been compared in the past to frankincense. It has a bit of that earthy sort of grounding note, but it's really, really soothing. It's great for the skin in terms of just being very balancing, very calming. So if you do have any sort of irritations, any flares, it can really just sort of keep that nice and soothed. Another ingredient is pedigree. Pedigree has a very earthy and sort of woody note. It has just a touch of astringency. So this is again where you're getting that beautiful balancing component. When you're thinking of normal and combination skin, you want something that has just a touch of astringency. So that's to help on the combination side and that over oil production. And then again, just a nice sort of balance and neutral for the parts of the face that are really normal. And maybe even just leaning a little bit towards dry. So I personally like to use a face oil in my nighttime routine. What I do is go through the whole rigmarole and then end, like I said, with uh, pressing this product into the face. That's another great tip about face oils is that you don't want to sort of rub or tug. They're just not intended to absorb the same way as something like a serum or a moisturizer that has a little bit more slip and moves around the face a bit more easily. What I like to do is just add the drops to my fingertips. Again, I'll just sort of press them together. And then it really is a pat and a press deeply into the skin. You can allow for those products to migrate on their own. That means they're gonna move around and sort of fill in the holes. So you're not overly inclined to really, like I said, use too much product and oversaturate the skin. If you do choose to use a face oil in your daytime routine, you're going to use this product before your SPF. So it will be the last step in your skincare routine, and then you would apply SPF as sort of just like the overarching, the umbrella that's going to complete uh, your system for the day. Between face oil and sunscreen, I do like to recommend about a five minute wait, and I'd say that's sort of the low end five, sometimes five to ten minutes, um, to really, really ensure that it's been fully absorbed into the skin, and then you're going to get optimal uh, application and then protection from your SPF. So that's our first line. That's Glow On, my friends, which is again for our normal and combination skin types. If you do have any questions, anything you're curious about these formulations, please, as always, feel free to pop over to the comments section. At the end of today's session, I'm going to make sure uh, to address anything that you're interested in there. And so then the second line we're talking about today is called Calmomile. The Calmomile line is created for people who identify as having sensitive skin. Some of the other words I hear sometimes it's reactive skin or irritated skin. Sensitive skin, it's a bit of a tricky beast. There are so many different things that can cause sensitivity in the skin. And the truth is a lot of them come to us from our ingredients. Many people will find that their skin has become sensitive or again has a little bit of reactivity from ingredients like alcohol. Alcohol can be drying, it can be a bit irritating. Some people as well have this experience, I know this is for myself personally, it's from artificial fragrance. If I see artificial fragrance listed in a product, I immediately know that it isn't for me because over my lifetime, I've really come to learn that those are products that cause me irritation. I'll often get redness and flushing through my cheeks. Sometimes I'll even get a little bit of raised bump. So that's just been learned behavior over the years for me to really scan through an ingredient list and ensure that there's nothing in the formula that I already know can be triggering to my skin. So of course, when you think about this line, we're going to think about having included ingredients that are known to be soothing, known to be calming, known for their anti-inflammatory properties, and that's specifically addressing redness, that flushing, like I mentioned, and then anything else that sort of occurs when people are feeling that their skin is overly sensitized. So let's look at product number one. This is our Calmomile Gel Cleanser. So we included a gel in the Calm Skin line because we wanted it to be something that would still be cleansing, still remove any of the products you've used in the day, but that was also going to be gentle on the skin and nothing that's going to introduce irritation. 
My best tip with this product specifically is that a little goes a long way. So when I'm using the pump, I never even depress a full pump. I just use sort of like a half pump. And then I find emulsifying and adding water just really creates this beautiful, creamy, soft lather. And you can tell even when you're using it on the skin that immediately it's not going to be drying. It's not going to be sort of over removing your natural oils. It's just sort of taking off all of your impurities, the dirt, the grime, the makeup, anything that you've used uh, through the day. A couple of the key ingredients in the formula. I want to talk about aloe vera. Aloe vera is nice and refreshing. It's cooling to the skin. A lot of times people who have inflamed or sensitive skin, it actually has a bit of a hot tone to it. And you can actually feel the flush from the inside. So aloe vera has that freshening space, also deeply hydrating. You're going to see squalene show up in this formula as well. And then I want to talk about the scent note. So similar to the way that we talked about parsley seeds sort of driving the dominant scent in Glow On, in the chamomile line, it's chamomiles. So chamomile has this really sweet, this apple-like note. It's quite distinct. It has a little bit of that sort of herbal to it. And you see chamomile show up in sensitive skin products really regularly because it's just one of the best ingredients, one of the most well-known ingredients in skincare to provide soothing to the skin. So you're going to see two chamomile Chamomiles show up within the chamomile line. We have Roman chamomile and German chamomile. So just sort of a one-two punch for that extra soothing, extra balancing effect. I think about these ingredients particularly when it comes to redness. So when you're looking again to sort of offset that irritation or any of that inflammation, you're going to see that show up uh, in the cleanser. The second product we're going to move into is the chamomile moisturizer. So think about the key ingredient that I'd mentioned earlier, the oat kernel extract. So really looking at providing ceramides, barrier protection. Another ingredient I want to talk about is shea butter. Shea butter is a skincare superfood. It's really nutrient rich. It's dense. It has that beautiful thickness to it, but it's very, very protective. So it actually has high anti-inflammatory properties. So again, I feel like I'm a bit of a broken record here, but when you're thinking about redness, when you're thinking about skin that feels inflamed or irritated, sometimes that shows up as like stinging or tingling. I've heard a lot of people throughout my career share to say like, oh, I just thought that was normal or I thought that's how skincare felt. And I'm here my friends to tell you that that's not the truth. So if you're using any products that are feeling particularly stinging or causing any sort of tingling or reaction on the skin, that's some information that might be telling you it's not the right one for you. So in my experience, the chamomile moisturizer is the lightest of all of our formulas. So when you're looking for hydration and we all need it, regardless of our skin type, a water-based moisture is so, so important to keep the skin nice and balanced. This is a great formulation to reach for when, like I said, you know that you need to replenish moisture, but you don't want anything that's just going to sit a little bit too heavy, that isn't going to absorb properly, and that can, again, maybe sort of induce some of that inflammation. So Think about this for a great uh, light moisture choice. And then the third product in the line is the chamomile face oil. So similar to what we talked about with Glow On, think about using it in all of the same ways. Think of it as the final product in your skincare routine. That's if you're using it at nighttime, and it would be the final product before sunscreen if you're thinking about the daytime. Again, small amount, little goes a long way, so you're looking between two, three, four drops, I'd say, as a max. Patting, pressing into the skin. Couple ingredients I want to call out. Number one, there is a carrier oil in this product called apricot kernel. Apricot kernel is mild. It's very well tolerated, and so most skin types can use it easily, making it perfect for sensitive skin. It's going to provide that slip. It's going to provide those nutrients that really help uh, your ingredients to absorb. I also want to talk about evening primrose. This is an ingredient that's high in omega-6 fatty acids. This, my friends, is all about elasticity. Think about really helping to improve your skin's moisture barrier, helping to really boost the elasticity, your collagen production. That's going to soften and smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I'd say even if you don't identify as having sensitive or reactive skin, this is a really popular face oil we do because a lot of people just like those healing properties. Another ingredient, this is going back to the moisturizer that I was just thinking about is calendula. 
So calendula is known for skin healing. It's been used for centuries in all sorts of different preparations to support the skin. And so when you think about softening, you think about suppleness, that's what you're really seeing through this line here is uh, products that are really effective at again, like cleansing, providing hydration and treatment, but that are always keeping that uh, gentleness top of mind. So that's our second skincare line, that's Calm a Mile. So as I mentioned in the sessions that are going to come uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to dive into two more product lines and then I'm going to share a little teaser that we have some brand new products we're introducing uh, in the coming weeks and we're going to talk about those as well. So what I'm going to finish with today is a wellness feature that's currently on offer in uh, both of our stores and on sage.com. This is a skincare kit called Fresh Faced. So it looks just like this cutest little bag it says good skin day right on the front. This is made from recycled water bottles. I always love to call that out. I'll show you the little the little logo there. And then it's such a great pouch that you can keep with you and take on the go. So this is a skincare kit, three products included. I'm going to talk about them just in the order that I pulled them out. So starting here with the cognac washcloth. If you have watched any of my sessions in the past as it relates to skincare, you know that one of my absolute favorite products we offer is called the Cognac Sponge. So these are sponges used in facial skincare. They are made entirely from plant-based materials, so 100% compostable, biodegradable. I've joked in the past that when I've come to the end of the lifespan of my sponge, I just can toss it off my balcony if it suited my fancy because I know that it's good for the environment. It's going to fully break down. It's going to compost. It's going to biodegrade. So what we've done here that I'm so excited about, and I cannot stress enough how difficult it was for me to restrain myself before this session, is this one here. It's a little cognac washcloth. So when you look at it just like this, it doesn't look too impressive, but it actually can be opened like this. Let's see if I can get it all the way open. And you see that it's quite firm. It sound, you even can hear that it sounds like it's a little bit like cracking. And so what this is, is a fully, fully dried cognac washcloth. What you have to do with cognac is introduce water. So once you do a full, full saturation of water, it becomes so soft, so jelly and sponge-like, an incredible accessory to use in skincare. So you use this product in conjunction with a cleanser. So it is sponge-like. You don't want to apply a cleanser directly to the product. It can just absorb a little bit too much. But I like to fully cleanse the face uh, just using my hands. And then once this is fully saturated, like I said, has that sponge-like texture, you can then actually move into sort of buff and massage the face. Cognac is excellent for increasing circulation. It's fantastic for helping to even your skin tone. It just moves the product around in a way that increases blood flow to the surface of the skin. That's where you're going to get the evening of the tone. And also just a really, really mild, gentle exfoliation. You never want to use a cognac product when it's not fully saturated with water. If it still has that scratchiness, if it sounds like that, my friends, we don't want to use that on our face. So you want to make sure it's fully, fully softened and then just use it as part of your skincare routine. What's fantastic, you can also use it without cleanser. So if you're not wearing makeup or maybe it's the morning time and you're just looking for a little bit of a refresh for the skin, just saturating in water and then again, increasing your blood flow and circulation through a bit of massage, fantastic way to use it. So this I'm going to say is going to last you maybe about 10 to 20 washes, depending. I sometimes find my cognac products will break down a little bit quicker if I'm using them to remove makeup and SPF. So it's something I'm always conscious of. That's product number one. Product number two is our detox mode clay mask. So this is in a fun little travel size as well, a little 70 ml uh, size that you can take with you on the go. This is a very, very popular face mask that we do. You hear it all in the name, detox mode. This is for cleansing, purifying, renewing. So think about really removing junk and impurities and gunk and everything that gets stuck in our pores. Just really uh, encouraging clear and fresh skin. Some great ingredients in the formula, kale and clay. This is a deeply absorbent clay. So again, it's going to remove impurities. It's gonna help remove excess oil from the skin while keeping the skin balanced. And that's key. You don't ever want to remove too much oil because what that does is triggers over oil production. So you actually need to find that delicate balance, which is what kale and clay does well. There's bamboo charcoal powder in the formula. That's nice uh, and relieving again of that excess oil. There's just a touch of gentle exfoliation that comes from that ingredient as well. 
Two uh, essential oils I love are benzoin and frankincense. Benzoin has a sweetness to the scent. It's nice and thick. It's a nice thick resin, making it fantastic in skincare preparations because it's softening. Frankincense, just one of my favorite essential oils all around. It's great for vitality, so renewal of the skin and just helping it sort of come back to that brilliance and radiance that uh, we're all looking for. So that's a clay face mask. You're gonna use that once to twice a week, depending on your preference. Always using a face mask on freshly cleansed skin. Think about, for example, you don't want to put a face mask over top of makeup or SPF because you're really just sort of locking in anything that may be sitting uh, on the skin in terms of impurity. So always wash the face first and then the face mask is second. And then the third and final product, we've already talked about it. It's the glow on face oil. So just a wonderful little mini size, a beautiful way to try the product. Again, just those refreshers being that face oil is the final step in your skincare routine. It's what's referred to as an occlusive. So that means it's just going to really lock things into the skin and give you a little bit of a barrier protectant and some glow. So you can try all three of those products as part of uh, the fresh faced skincare kit. So my friends, thank you for your time today. Thank you for indulging, like I said, one of my personal passions, which is skincare. I hope that you feel excited about adding products into your collection that can really support uh, your skin in feeling its healthiest, in feeling its freshest, and just really looking its best. Please pop over to the comments with any questions, any feedback. I'm more than happy to help. We're going to be back here next Friday and we're going to be talking about the two additional skincare lines I mentioned. And then again, the following Friday is when we're going to introduce some new products to our collection. So feel free to stick around for those as well. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your week and your weekend. Get outside, take some deep breaths, just expose your beautiful, fresh and clear skin uh, to the sun. Fingers crossed to the sky uh, and just help yourself feel your best. Take care, everyone. We'll see you back here soon.